I went away to a very rural place. And uh, I must say in, uh, now, with perspective being 33 years old, I can say it was really quite valuable because to live four years of your life in a place totally unlike where you usually live, it was a bit of a shock getting off the train. And, <laughs> <laughs> Are these the dormitories? <laughs> the first thing I did was make fun of New York talk, you know. <laughs> but there were regionalisms everywhere. They spoke funny to me, but I knew, hey, Bab. They were from near Buffalo. Hey, Bab, my father gave me a dollar to get married. <laughs> we're getting married next week, then we're going to Buffalo, we're going to Niagara Falls, we're coming back. <laughs> we're coming back. And there's always a kid that came up to me, hey, Bab, you from New York? I go, yeah. He said, do you know a guy named Tony Jones? <laughs> 14 trillion. Now, I usually knew the guy, but there's no excuse for an asshole question. Like that. <laughs> there was something that was quite, <clears throat> uh, kind of put me off a little in my first, uh, you know, time there. And uh, for a while thereafter, I'd never really faced blatant anti-Semitism before. It was really quite something. And um, my first day, there's something sort of spoken from a fraternity house porch to me. Uh, subtle, subtle to be sure. You know, Jubai! <laughs> Jubai! Hook your nose, hey Jubai! <laughs> um, I didn't quite know what, I remember I wanted to meet the guy next door to me in the dormitory. He was decorating his room with a swat stick of mobile. <laughs> I remember a brief phone call home to my parents. I can't tell you exactly uh, what the conversation was. I don't remember, I can paraphrase. I'm like, get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> Mama, look at the movie, it's a swat stick. It was really quite a... <laughs> The gutsiest thing I ever did there was play Shylock in The Merchant of Venice. <laughs> See, I, was, I became interested in the plays after a while, and I, uh, you know, I started to, I had to play an old man. Shylock is like not a pussycat, but modern history has made him a very sympathetic character. He suffers because of great prejudice, and I guess Shakespeare was too hip uh, a judge and perceiver of human personality to let that moment go. I think in the fourth act, he has this wonderful speech he talks about aren't Jews and Christians, don't we respond to the same stimuli? If you prick us, don't we bleed? You know, that kind of thing. Fabulous. And I made myself into an old man, you know. And put on a little phony palsy shake, you know. <laughs> Get old in a hurry, you know. And I put my script exactly where I wanted the palsy shake to be as a good palsy shake. <laughs> I think I'll put another palsy shake. <laughs> Hath not a Jew hands? Hath not a Jew eyes? Hath not a Jew organs, senses, dimensions, affections, passions? Palsy shake. <laughs> Fed with the same food, hurt with the same weapons, warmed and cooled by the same winter and summer as a Christian is. And the audience went, no, you son of a bitch! Jew boy, Jew boy, 